Hello, welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to cover about custom page layouts. So in last session, whatever we have seen, it is related to the standard layout, which is given by Salesforce. Now we are going to deal about custom page layouts. That is creating our own layout and modifying our same layout, which we have created. And in previous session, whatever you have modified, that is a standard layout provided by Salesforce, which we have modified in the last session. So let's see a small demo on custom page layouts. Here we go. So now this is a standard layout given by Salesforce. If you wanted to create custom layout, you need to go to navigate to page layouts and you need to select new layout so here which layout you wanted to copy from that existing layout you can copy the new layout so here I am giving it as teaching employee and I'm saving it So if you wanted to modify anything for teaching employees, you can modify it. So for teaching employees, I'm just changing the joining date, email ID and mobile on the right hand side. I'm just saving it. And I'm creating one more page layout. I'm taking the reference from the teaching employee and I am creating one more page layout as non-teaching employee. Save it. Now, so here you can see a specialization field which is mandatory for teaching employees. So now I am removing this as a mandatory and I am removing this section so here it went so if you wanted to keep again you can drag and keep it so if you want it if you don't want to keep it you can just drag and keep it over there in the fields so i'm just removing the specialization field on the custom page layouts okay so this is how you can create a custom page layouts like here I have created non-teaching employee and I have created a teaching employee. So if you wanted to check, here you can select page layout assignment and you can click edit assignment. So here there is a place to change the layout. So select the system admin as you are a system administrator, assign a non-teaching or teaching, whichever the changes you wanted to see, save it. So it got saved. So now let's create a new record. So here you can find you don't have the specialization field right now. So again, I'll just edit it. And I'm changing this layout to teaching employee and save it. It got saved. Again, I'll just select new record. not get reflected so again let me create a new record teaching employee select layout select teaching employee layout and save it Let's go back to the records. 
select new record test select a date of birth now in all the layouts i am making this specialization field as not mandatory so here you can check this is a employee layout and this is non teaching employee layout and this is teaching employee layout so all all the places i just removed the mandatory one what i am doing is in non teaching i just remove the specialization field and here you can check i have assigned the non teaching layout to system admin so now when i try to create a new record the specialization field won't be there so this is how you need to assign the custom page layouts to a particular profile so let's see you on the another session thank you